Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another Royal Giant deck inside of Clash Royale, taking a break from the Electro Dragon, and I'm going to be showing you guys this terrorizing Royal Giant Furnace deck that's been making its way onto the ladder pretty recently. Now, as you guys know, Royal Giant, ever since it got buffed, has seen a lot of play at the competitive level inside of Ladder, where obviously the level 13 still run rampant, but recently, this deck's been popping up with the Fire Spirits Lightning Furnace, and it's actually pretty successful. I wanted to give it a go myself. I know I've been having a lot of fun playing these Electro Dragon decks, but I wanted to play something a little more simple. And let's go and actually use this on the ladder right now and see if we can steal some wins using this beautiful deck. Let's go. All right, we're at 5640 right now. Haven't really been doing too much trophy pushing this season, so maybe I'm able to do something to turn that around. Maybe make a little bit of a push as we finish this bad boy off. I've got the Furnace in our starting hand. Easy card to play and gain some control of the map and really just force your opponent into making a decision. And it looks like his decision is going to be throwing down this giant, throwing down this uh, this Dark Prince right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and Barbarian Barrel all of this down. Barbarian's going to go ahead and protect this Electro Wizard beautifully, I might add. And now that that's all gone in, I went for a Royal Giant because I thought he didn't have anything else left. But now we're going to have a lot of giant hits coming our way. I'm going to opt to play our guards right here just to clean up this giant before we take too much damage. And the guards are going to serve as a counter push against this RG just to clean up this mini P.E.K.K.A. that eventually came out. Now, taking a look at the towers, you can obviously who see who made the better edge of this trade right here. Mini pack is going to go ahead and run on through, which means I have to go ahead and play my Mega Minion. Ooh, that feels a little bit ugly right there. Yeah, we're going to take a lot of damage from this Dark Prince. I tried to play my Fire Spirits and surround the Dark Prince, but obviously that's not a play. And uh, why don't we just go ahead and keep that up by playing some pressure with our Barbarians. And that's going to force an Electro Wizard out of him. Now, still, that Mega Minion is going to be able to get a hit onto the tower. Beautifully done right there. However, we might have overstayed our welcome, and he could throw a giant down the lane, but we do have some measures to really finish this one off. Let's go ahead and do our Electro Wizard. Let's go ahead and throw down our guards right here. This will clean up the E-Wiz, plus clean up the rest of his push right here. Not bad, not bad. And if we can cycle to our Royal Giant in time, we'd actually have a pretty nasty counter push, but hmm... He does have Zap. I'm going to go ahead and just do a Royal Giant now, just because this should be enough to take his tower. Even if he drops the mini P.E.K.K.A. guys, this should be one tower to one tower down. And I definitely feel pretty good about the fact that our tower, uh, you know, or that we have the Royal Giant, because being able to play that in the center is going to be really tough for him to deal with. Now, getting ready once more. It's going to lead to me playing some Fire Spirits right here. Just want to make him work for that last bit of tower damage before just sacrificing it. That means that I can use my Furnace opposite lane if I need to. Let's see what he's going to end up doing. Dark Prince going to go down this lane, and if he just keeps investing down this side I feel fine just giving it up and why don't we just go ahead and play our mega minion he's gonna opt to play his night witch down the opposite lane that's gonna lead me to playing my electro wizard guards gonna go down as well really trying to keep everything nice and healthy fireball value will come out for him though which is a little bit disappointing barbarian barrel gonna go ahead and run on through furnace going down again guys and this should be able to take out most of his push Let's go and use our Fire Spirits to start cleaning up this Night Witch. Okay, that was a bad Electro Wizard. That was definitely not our best Electro Wizard, guys. So we're going to take a fair bit of damage, but still we have defended successfully down the other lane. I'm going to play our guards right here. Get ready to see what we can finish off on this side. He just fireballed the opposite lane, and there's not a lot of time left on the clock. Does he realize he only has a little bit of time right here? He's going to opt to play his arrows. He needs to cycle so quickly to his Fireball, guys. I don't know what else he has to deal with this right here. Two seconds left on the clock. And my man DLXXI, you forgot to cycle your fireball on my right hand tower. And that's GG well played. All those times I defended the Dark Prince on the right hand tower, paying big dividends towards the very end, guys. If, if you know that you can defend a tower and at least, you know, worst case right there, I defend that tower by making even elixir trades or maybe even slightly positive elixir trades. Towards the very end, he has to play a fireball zap to kill that tower. That means he just spent six elixir on a naked tower and I can go ahead and pressure the opposite lane and try to finish off tower number two. But instead, he tried to get cute and damage my left hand side before he had finished off the right. And that led to me just, you know, continually doing my thing until the very end where it was far too late. And uh, that was basically GG. Now, moving on to our next battle, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play a Royal Giant right here. I need to apply a little bit of pressure on this end and see what he ends up playing. It's going to be a Lumberjack, so that'll honestly be fine. I'm going to opt to do two guards left, one guard right. Hopefully, this is in time to get that Lumberjack in tower range. Should work out okay. All right. That almost went terribly, but that's fine, guys. Uh, going to go ahead and let this Electro Wizard come through. Lumberjack going forward. Going to be a little bit tricky. Mega Minion going to go in. Oh, man. I think we just lost. Uh, guys, hello? Uh, hello? Electro Wizard, please? No. Okay, guys. The Royal Giant pressure didn't end up working out right there. And uh, we're going to play, pay the biggest possible sacrifice 
by giving up a tower on the very first push. That's not good. Well, hopefully this will be a lesson for you guys to how to come back after a not so fun start. So let's go and play our Furnace. Fire Spirit's gonna pop out and kill this Mega Minion. He's gonna opt to use his Elixir Collector, which gives me a moment to go ahead and lightning that down right there. I can't really focus on going for a crazy push down the left-hand lane, just because even if I played a Royal Giant right there, we know he has the Lumberjack to take us out. I'm gonna let this Furnace keep on putting in work in the left-hand lane. Another 200 damage done to that tower, and at this point, we're at about a four to six Elixir deficit, and we gotta find a way to make it work, even given what's happened so far. The Fire Spirits, once more, are gonna go ahead and chunk down that tower, so at least we're getting a little bit of damage off as we set up our defense right here. He's gonna opt to play his Baby Dragon, Dragon. If he's playing Tornado Rocket, I, I don't really see how we can defend. So this is probably going to get ugly quick, guys. I recommend closing your eyes right here. Barbarian Barrel, Mega Minion going in. I'm going to play our Fire Spirits too. Fire Spirits going to come on out for these bats. Mega Minion's going to go in right here. That actually is going to work out okay. What we want to get done right here is play our guards to make sure this Mega Minion doesn't kill our Electro Wizard because we really only have one opportunity to win that this game. That's going to be playing Royal Giant. That's going to be playing Barbarian Barrel to tank for the Lumberjack. That was a beautiful Barbarian Barrel right there. The Royal Giant getting onto the tower. So close to getting it within Lightning Range. That's going to be Lightning Range. That's what we need, baby. Let's go. Fire Spirits for the Lumberjack. Beautifully done right there, and now we can set up our push once more, and we might be able to get some lightning value against this tower. That's going to be beautiful. Lightning boom, boom, boom. That's what I'm talking about. How in the world did we just pull that off, guys? The world may never know. Guards going down once more here. It's going to be a nice set of guards. Oh, I almost actually ended up blowing it right there, but still, we're going to keep that golem from really pressuring our tower. It's going to be a lumberjack going towards our barbarian again. And guys, we're in business. Even after everything that's happened so far, we're still in this game. And you guys know what the play is. I'm not messing around. You're not messing around. It's going to be the Royal Giant right dead center in the crack. That Night Witch is going to get obliterated for some easy elixir, baby. Let's go. Lightning Spell going to go ahead and crush down the baby dragon and everything else. If he plays his golem, you guys know what the play is. All right, let's see what he does. It's going to be a golem going in, which means I have to play a furnace right now. I have to actually probably try to steamroll for the finish right here. I'm going to go ahead and play our guards. I'm going to play Royal Giant the Crack. Let's see if this is enough to finish this bad boy off. Let's do it. Electro Wizard has to go down. Electro Wizard needs to tank for everything else. That's going to be so much damage going in. The Royal Giant's going to pull it off. Did you guys think I was going to win that in the very beginning when we gave that tower up? I'm going to go ahead and give a little cry face because I saw some emotes come out right there. GG well played, my boy. All right, that one started off a little bit sketchy in the very beginning, but you guys could see through the power of determination, not giving up when we lost that first tower, we knew we can make some stuff happen. We got about 500 damage. Uh, remember when he played that golem in the back when we still needed to take that left-hand tower? Our furnace went forward, got about 500 damage for us. We defended against his push, gave up about 500 to 1,000 ourselves. We just kept consistent with what we were trying to do, and that barbarian barrel tanking for the lumberjack guys gave us the final hit that we needed to kill that left-hand tower. And then it was a base race from there. And I, I do love playing my Royal Giant whenever it gets a little bit crazy like that. Ends up working out for us. Let's go and get our Electro Wizard down once more. And let's kick off battle number three against Maliko. All right, Maliko. Let's see what she got. Fireball going in. It's going to push that forward right there. So I did not mean to play a Royal Giant, but I'll play it. Royal Giant's going in. Mega Minion's going to go ahead down, go down as well. Should be one Royal Giant hit, I think, against that tower. So at least we didn't lose everything. One hit's going to go ahead and roll on through. Furnace still has some HP left, which is great for us. Fire Spirit's going to stay alive right there, which is actually pretty crucial. And it looks like he's got mini P.E.K.K.A. Executioner. Probably has a NATO, so honestly, it's going to get pretty difficult for us to try to keep everything alive right here. Let's go and use our Barbarian Barrel. Keeping the pressure up, this set of Fire Spirit's going to get onto that uh, Dark Prince as well. Not bad, not bad. And one more set of these... It's going to go ahead and run forward right here, but uh, that hurts. Got to play my guards. Got to play our furnace again in a moment. And this one's probably going to be a little bit tough, being honest with you guys. You know, I love being the confident chief himself, but sometimes matchups just get a little bit ugly, and this is this is probably going to be one of them. All right, furnace going in, Electro Wizard. Wow, that's a very bad uh, executioner right there. We can go ahead and use our, our Mega Minion right here for this. Mega Minion's going to go ahead and turn all of this around. Giant's going to go ahead and run forward, guys, but he doesn't really have much of a lifespan left. I'm going to play our Royal Giant. I don't feel great about it, though, because he can use his Mini P.E.K.K.A. to assassinate everything we have right here instead. He's going to use the Fireball. He's going to go ahead and use this uh, this Mini P.E.K.K.A. 
trying to get the guards onto the mini pack. I was trying to do something a little bit crazy right there. Still, guards are going to have some HP to run for the tower. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get a single hit of damage. Maybe, we'll, actually, we'll get two hits of damage. Not bad at all. All right, we're looking good. Uh, I'm still holding out hope that we can pull off this game, guys. I think if he plays it right, though, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm playing my furnace a little bit early because one of these fire spirits will hit the giant and the tower. Watch what I'm talking about. Okay, or he's going to go ahead and play that. That's fine. Oh, okay. That was close. I'm going to go ahead and get our Electro Wizard ready. Everything coming up roses right here. Lightning Spell finally going down. Trying to clean up a lot. That was glorious. That was a very glorious Lightning right there. Just enough to be able to clean that up. Mega Minion going in. What are you going to end up doing, Maliko? Because you're looking like you're in some serious trouble. RG going to run forward, guys. He already played his NATO, so that's a guaranteed one. Maybe two hits against the tower. Ooh, two hits against the tower. The last second hit. You love to see it every time. All right. Fire Spirits from the Furnace going to go ahead and start popping off. Mega Minion going to meet its maker once more. How can we end up doing this, guys? Let's go ahead and get this Electro Wizard going down. He's going to probably play so much right now, so we have to play our Lightning. We have to go ahead and play our Barbarian Barrel. Going to clean up the rest of this. Barbarian Barrel going to do so much work. Electro Wizard almost going to stay alive right there. And I think at this point, we are sort of just chilling. Guards going in. Not the best set of guards, to be honest. Ooh, actually. Woo! Woo! Guys? Guys? Royal Giant. This thing's about to get serious right now. He, he doesn't have... He doesn't have uh, his mini pack in the cycle. One, two, three! Ooh, he got his, he got his mini pack back, boys. He got his mini pack back. Gotta play Barbarian Barrel. Gotta play our guards. Guys, how do we do this? I think we go defense. Full defense mode right now. Let's go and do our furnace. I'm getting a little bit nervous, as you guys might be able to tell. Sometimes I just let it bleed out, guys. I'm a real player, just like you. Sometimes I get a little bit nervous. Everything rolling through. Fire spirits going in. Guards going in. Please, guards, do something. I'm going to ignore... Oh, no. My guards did nothing! <laughs> guys, we totally blew it. I told you guys from the very beginning. He had the cards to deal with this deck, and we outplayed him the entire game until the very end where one couple mistakes ended up messing up us. I thought we would get one more hit from our Royal Giant onto his tower. One more hit, and we could have lightning him out for the win. The lightning does 446 damage. One more RG shot would have got that done. Sometimes it's a game of inches, and one Royal Giant shot can be all it takes. Anyways, well played to him. Fire Spirit's going in against a Princess. Love starting off a game like that. Mega Minion gonna go down in the back. Gotta imagine this guy's playing Bait or Hog Freeze. One of the two. Fireball going out means this guy is at a serious loss of Elixir. So why don't we just go ahead and play aggressive, guys? Show him no respect right now. Fireball Princess, he's seven Elixir down, and let's go ahead and let this all run on through. All right, he's gonna play Barbarians. That is not fun to see against a Royal Giant, but we'll go ahead and do our thing. Electro Wizard running forward, gonna end up dying in the very end, but we're gonna use our guards to assassinate this Musketeer. One last hit from the Electro Wizard, actually gonna work out perfectly. Let's go ahead and use our guards. These guards should be able to kill the Musketeer and have some counter push potential, uh, but he's gonna play his log so we can do our Fire Spirits. And let's see, Fire Spirits running on through are gonna end up dying. So now it's time to finally play our Furnace and set this match up. Now he does have Princess. If he plays Princess, we can use our Barbarian Barrel. He is really spending Elixir quickly, so I feel good about that. Barbarian Barrel gonna end up cleaning up that Princess. Beautifully done right there. And now the Fire Spirits will come through. Guys, this has been a very curious match so far, but I like it. I like where this match is heading. I like what's happening right now. Musketeer doing its thing. That means I'm going to play my Mega Minion front and center to really try to clean this up. I don't mind taking a little bit of a loss right there in Elixir. Three for four Elixir trade. Fire Spears. What I'm trying to do is just pressure him with this furnace. Once I can get... Hey guys. We got a bomb tower coming out. Bomb tower. Barbarians against a Royal Giant. All right. That's a very tanky defense. Rockets against a Royal Giant. All right, guys. We're, we're playing one of those games. You guys ever know what one of those games are? Well, we're in one of them. It's going to be one of those battles. A complete slugfest. A complete all of the above. I'm going to play our Electro Wizard, but this is going to be a little bit interesting. And I knew he was playing Barbarian, so that's why I played my Fire Spear. It's going to be able to put in a little bit of work right there. Barbarian Barrel running through. And I'm going to go ahead and Lightning, and I'm going to hit this Musketeer. All right, guys, this is this is seriously one of those games. What am I doing right now? Maybe a little bit of tilted from my last battle. Not gonna lie. Gonna go ahead and get our furnace ready. Furnace gonna go ahead and pop down. Guard's gonna go down two. Guard's gonna roll in. He is rocket cycling us. 
That's what's happening right now. We're getting rocket cycled. I have to play my Barbarian Barrel. I have to go and play my Fire Spirits right here. Barbarian's going in. Of course, we were a second too early right there. Royal Giant could actually end up killing that. Savage Royal Giant maneuvers is going to get the Barbarian to the tower. Beautifully done for some serious damage. Let's go. He is Fireball Rocket Cycling us. This man has no respect. Electro Wizard, please do something. Electro Wizard's going in. So much going down. Fire Spirit's running through once more. I have to Lightning, but we don't win this race. Okay, well, we're going to get the Electro Wizard on the tower at least, so we got that going for us. Electro Wizard going to go ahead and go in. Only a little bit of time left if we want to make our dreams a reality, guys. Let's go ahead and play our Barbarian Barrel. Let's go ahead and play our Royal Giant right here. Have to imagine he's going to play his Barbarians. Here go the Fire Spirits. Oh, those Fire Spirits were meaty. Fire Spirit's going to go in. The RG is on the tower. One more hit. That's going to do it for this video. GG. Well played. Cool, guys. Don't look at explosions because we're going to pick up that victory. Three and one on the day, even against Rocket Cycle Barbarians Bomb Tower. That's going to be GG. UGI, aka UGLY. GG. Fire Spirits. OP. Guys, fun video today, pushing on the ladder. Three and one with one that we almost beat a hard counter. Feels bad, man. Go ahead and check out this deck and play some Royal Giant if you haven't already for some clean hand washing activities. Guys, always keep your water by your side to wash your hands immediately afterwards. That's going to do it for this video today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on MySpace, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitch. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.